Hello and welcome to Owen English News Edition with me, Azim Magarsa. The Oromi Agriculture and Natural Resources Bureau stated that cluster farming has been benefiting farmers of the region. The Oromi Agriculture Transformation Agency has a discussion with stakeholders on the issues in Adamaton. The Maskamulato reports. The document from the Oromia Agriculture Natural Resource Bureau reveals that in 12 zones and 124 districts of the region, agriculture cluster has been implemented properly. And the Bureau stated that the farmers have been benefited from the cluster. In order to more productive the farmers through cluster, the concerned bodies have a discussion at Adama Town. Head of the Oromia Agriculture Natural Resource Bureau, Abba W, on the occasion underscores that farmers in the region have highly demanded to develop their farm plots through clusters when good dan ajayi bakantaw fedin konambula hammanuti for your surprise our farmers interest has been highly increasing on cluster even beyond our provision and expectation i see the best example for this the about is that farmers should produce for the market beyond household consumption ambulanke isamboda akka company tijarame omishe akka company ti gabar gate our farmers should produce for the international market. I am saying it should be a company. So in order to succeed, these agricultural expertise at all levels should stand by the side of our farmers and give them the necessary support. Head of the Urumi Agriculture Transformation Agency, Abba Riba for his part, highlighted that works are well underway to let the farmers utilize modern agricultural technologies. <laughs> We're working on identifying which crops is suitable in which area and which makes our farmers more productive. Therefore, we are exerting effort to let the farmers use modern agricultural technology and contribute their part in the economic growth of the country. On the stage, it was said that East Shoa, Jimma and Arshi zones are where agriculture cluster has been implemented properly. Bulehora University disclosed that special emphasis has been given to natural science in order to realize the country's efforts to transform the agricultural aid economy to the industry-led one. The university is providing training to 500 outstanding students drawn from Borana and two Guji zones. Leta Teresa. This Ethiopian summer season, Bulehora University has offered short-term training for 500 brilliant students selected from grade 7 up to 12. The university has provided the students with practice-oriented training so that they can grasp more knowledge in addition to what they learn in class theoretically. Community Service Directorate Director with the University Gumiboru said laboratory experiment is very important for the students to acquire knowledge. We have launched this program to help the students so that they practice lab experiments so as to understand more what they learn theoretically. Curriculum was prepared for them in accordance with their education level. Bulehora University lab technician Mr. Kubutuma said the trainees are expected to share the knowledge they acquired during their stay in the university to their fellow students. Since these students are highly talented, I hope they they will do their best in awareing their fellow students as well as their community after they get back to their respective zones. The students who took their training witnessed that the practice-oriented training has helped them to understand more what they learned in theory. In class, we learn only theory, but here we learn through practice. Ministry of Education said a decision has been made to introduce the 6 to 4 education system, 6 years of primary schooling followed by 2 years of junior secondary and 4 years of secondary schooling. The current schooling system pursues 8 to 2 years of education. Data Teresa again has more on this. Ethiopia's Ministry of Education announced on Wednesday that the education roadmap, which believed to change the existing education system of the country, will be partially implemented in the next Ethiopian academic year. Briefing journalists, Minister of Education Delegator said the ministry has decided to introduce the 624 education system, which is six years of primary schooling, tag on two years of junior secondary, and four years of secondary schooling. Yeah, and 
ላጠቃላይ መሰረታዊ ትምርትንና የማስላትን grade 1 to 6 education will enable students to acquire general knowledge from 7 to 8 will learn various subjects from 9 to 12 they are expected to be ready for further education and work the existing education system is focused on theoretical aspects he said the newly introduced education roadmap is based on the country's knowledge and values According to the minister, the primary education will be given in mother tongue from grade 1 up to 8. And this is for it. The initial schooling age is fixed at 7 years old, whereas grade 12 completion is to be 18 years old. He reiterated that about 36 newly identified proposals have been incorporated into the roadmap during the preceding consultation meetings, out of which 12 items will be implemented in the next academic year. Further, he emphasized that students will take regional examination at grade 6 while they will sit at grade 8 for national examination. Similarly, the national examination that has been given at grade 10 will be cancelled since the coming academic year and higher education entry exam will be given at grade 12. Furthermore, the minister said students can learn technical and vocational education TVET from grade 12. TVETs will offer courses for students from level 1 up to PhD levels. The technical and vocational education will be flourished to childhood of primary stage schooling to level 8 that was merely fixed to level 5 earlier. The existing schooling system follows 8 years of primary, 2 years of general secondary and 2 years of preparatory senior secondary education. Residents of West Wallaga zone have engaged on various voluntary services. The zone administration stated that the youth are actively participating on community services in the zone. Addis Asafwa. Lower level leaders of West Wallaga zone of Bambo Gambel district have rendered school supply materials for vulnerable orphanages. Head of Women, Children and Youth Affairs of the district, Romita Mene, said that 147 orphanages have gotten 12 exercise books and 10 pence per head. Rome further noted that the vulnerable orphanages were very grateful for the help granted, and these students are very desperate to attend their school with strong commitment. Meanwhile, government employees of Gimbi, town administration and the zonal workers, as well as Najo district and town, Genji and Bagi district have participated in environmental cleaning of their surrounding. Participants of the cleaning campaign say that the sanitary keeps the people from disease. It concerns everyone. Whenever everybody cleans one surrounding, the entire people would be healthy. No one dictates being free from disease. Even those who live in buildings and apartments many be exposed to diseases when their surrounding is not tidy women should take part in environmental cleaning and that's why we came here in mass besides surrendering the school supply materials through volunteerism and cleaning their surrounding the women participated in blood donation every individual should have the vulnerable kids in in what he or she has it can be donating blood head of women children and youth affairs of west wallega zone hawa ahmed said that Volunteering service is underway in their zone. We have prepared 41 kinds of voluntary services areas, blood donation, constructing bridges, renewing elders' house, helping women and children, environmental cleaning, are among others. Celebration of Ashanda, Shadai, Ashandiye, Solal Festival started in Tigray and Amhara regional cities. It is girls and young women's festival in the northern part of Ethiopia. During the festival, they dress the best traditional dresses and wear a tall grass around their waist as a decoration. The girls also adorn themselves with an array of beautiful jewelry. Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed said yesterday sent his best wish for all Ethiopians celebrating Ashanda, Shadai, Ashandiye, Solal Festival. Welcome back. You are watching the English Nets News.